What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we're checking out a game called Lena's Inception. A kind of spoof of Zelda-like games. It's a game that's sort of poking fun of that entire genre, the sort of Alundra Zelda genre. Are there other games like Zelda and Alundra? I don't know if there are. Those are the two games that come to mind when people really talk about like top-down puzzle action, light RPG mechanic type games. And I have trouble thinking of other ones. I'm sure you guys will fill me in in the comments. It's all good. Let's start a new game and see if this one is worth adding to your watch list, because after all, that is what we do here at the Nerd Castle. We find those indie games so that you don't have to. Uh, our name is Lena. That's fine. I will go with Lena. And then we also have the World Seed of Brutes. No, we will call this the Nerd Castle. Perfect. Sounds good. Generate for me, game. Generate. So here we are. We are in a classroom. We've also picked up a broken yardstick that's just haphazardly laying on the ground right there. Press O to fend off monsters with this stick. Gotcha. So this is going to be a hand-on keyboard type of game. What's up in this little room right here? Can I break this pot? I can't even break the pot with the yard... What is that? Why is that here? I'm not going to need this. Yeah, why is, there a, why is there a scythe? There's a black scythe laying precariously next to a hole in the floor over there. That's all I'm saying. What's on our bookshelf? Let's go look. Maybe there's treasure. A bookcase full of gruesome horror novels. Apparently, we're a big horror fan. We like the gruesome, the gory, and the bloody. I think I like this teacher. A bookcase full of logic puzzle books. Okay. Not so much on that front. A spreadsheet details the student's investments in various stocks. The student is proudly displaying his collection of sporting medals on his desk. While he's spinning in circles right there, he's got a dunce cap on. Hattie is performing magic tricks at her desk. Is nobody actually doing anything at school today? Draniel is painstakingly sketching a man losing his limbs to a propeller blade. This guy's apparently Klaus is playing with a snowball. Yeah, I was going to say he's got a Santa hat on. Apparently the building glitched out behind us. And we've been woken up by a chicken. No, my students! I'm going to take a rough guess and I'm going to say that maybe because the game's not out yet... Like, the sprite for the building burning is not, or the burning building is not done yet. And therefore, that's why it's glitching out right there, maybe? I don't know. Maybe it's supposed to do that. Maybe this game is, like, hitting the fourth wall or something. I guess we'll find out. What's this guy? Welcome to Andre the Bear's Emporium. He's got a bunch of stuff that we can buy. I don't think we need to buy anything right now. I don't think that's necessary. Whoa, hey, are we in a battle now? What are we going to do, like, the JRPG thing? Oh, we're not. What was that? Apparently the chicken really, really, really wants me to follow it inside the cave. So I suppose that's what I, I can't decide if I have ears or if that's my hair. Am I a cat girl or is that my hair? I think that's just my hair. I can't really tell though, but I'm pretty sure it's just my hair. Whoa. That got gruesome really, really quickly. I thought this was going to be like a cutesy Zelda game. What is going on? Is this the village elder? He's not breathing. Henrietta the chicken has started following you. Henrietta is also carrying something. It's a whistle so that we can send away or we can summon dear Henrietta. Okay, so we've got P, we've got bracket. That's why it wants O to be our attack key right there is because we're supposed to have four fingers on those keys. All right, the label says for Lance. I don't know who Lance is, but apparently let's go find him. That outfit, you got to be that hero kid, right? I get the feeling the elder wanted you to have this. Whoa, 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 what are you doing? You could hurt yourself. Oh, fine. I'll show you how to use the blade if you complete a quest for me. I need you to rescue my students. Just let me deal with the monsters for now. Come on, I'll take you to the tutorial area. Apparently, we're going to the tutorial area. I don't know where the tutorial area is. It could be down. This kind of looks like it goes out of town. I'm not sure that this is... Ooh, 50 cents. Nice. I'll take that. That's enough to play two whole arcade games. Ooh, what is this? A blue silk tunic. Okay. Can't go into the library yet. What does that say? Nerdcastle Library? All right. Well, we've got a blue tunic, so, like, maybe we check that out? What's up with the tunic? Can I wear that? Yeah, it's a fire resistance tunic. Okay. Oh, and it changes the color of our tunic on our character, too. Nice. Sounds good. I like that. An attention to the changing aesthetic. See, I always hate it when games, you change your gear and it doesn't show up on your character. I talk about that nearly every episode. Every single time that doesn't happen in a game, I have to talk about it. Ooh, there's a bicycle. Free bike. We definitely didn't just steal somebody's bike. That was a free bike right there. Don't question it. We just got a free bike. The more you question it, the more likely it is that the police will investigate. Just shh. It was a free bike. 
Everybody knows that bikes that are left just laying somewhere are free bikes. Alright, so we'll have our tutorial in here, but first, let's explore a bit to find somewhere safe. Alright. So we've got a room over here. Looks like there's a sneaky slime over on this side. I'm gonna murder it and take its nickels. Yep, your nickels are now my nickels, and I'm going to spend them on illicit substances. Welcome to the adventure. Welcome to the jungle, baby. I'm gonna put that up there, and then I bet if we put these on the check marks, it'll probably work. Yeah, there we go. We put those on the little cross marks, it'll work out good. This room looks safe enough. Alright, so using your sword is pretty simple. There's two main modes of attack. The first is slashing. To do that, you're going to press and release the O button like this. Good. Now try holding... Oh my god, they murdered Link. Link is dead. Link is dead at the outset of the game. He literally got his head crushed. One of the fabled four powers, the power of fortitude. With this power, every conflict you survive will make you stronger. Okay. We've also stolen the hero's cell phone, so that's good to know. It has a full battery and two out of five bars of signal. Alright, this is Lance's sword. The sharp edge on it is perfect for cutting things. And it just auto-equipped the sword. It's too bad none of these hearts that are laying around will help Lance out. We should be administering, like, CPR. Does he need, like, emergency medical attention? Like, are we past that point? I think we're probably past that point. Didn't it say he's not breathing? I don't know, let's go look at him real fast. Let me investigate Lance here. I'm sorry, Lance. You should be sorry. You told him this area was safe and that we were going to do a tutorial here, and then he got his head crushed. That's not right. What is that? Now you can see where all the treasure is. Oh, nice. We got a dungeon map. Hell yeah. I'll take that. Kill these dudes off real fast. Move up this way. I did plug in a controller to test this game out previously. The controller didn't seem to interact with the game in any meaningful way. So I'm not going to say it doesn't have controller support, but with my USB controller, I couldn't get it to work. So that's what I will say, is that if you really, really want controller support for a game like this, maybe do a little bit of homework and research before you make the purchase, because I couldn't get mine to work, which I assume means that the game is not controller supported. But as with all things, I always tell my audience and you guys out there, you should always question everything I say and just double check. You know, I get it wrong a lot of the time, as do a lot of other people on the internet. It's very, very easy to give, like, your first impressions of something and be way off, and I fall victim to that pretty frequently. So, you know, maybe double check. We've got a steel shield. We can press space to deflect monsters' attacks with this shield. Okay. Well, I guess I'm the hero now. Look at me. Look at me. I am the hero now. Alright, so you got- Ow, dude, I've been struck. I failed at blocking. I'm bad at my job. Luckily, there's been a lot of hearts laying around, so maybe we'll find- Oh, that arrow was faster than I thought it was going to be. I don't really need money right now. What I would like to have is maybe, maybe a little bit more health. Like, you know, what's the point in having all the money in the world if I'm going to have, like, rampant sword cancer? You know what I mean? Like, let's just, let's work on our medical care situation. It looks like a perfect fit for a blue door. All right, so we found the thing that we were looking for. Let's wander off in this direction and see, I think the blue door was back at the beginning. Can I actually use the bicycle in here? Is that a possibility? Oh, I can. Nice. So I can use the bicycle to get around wherever I want, even internally, inside of a dungeon. I thought that was just going to be like an over map thing, but I guess not. We can't break the skulls with our sword. Once we get to the room where Lance died. There we go. Just give me a little bit more money here. Yep, just a little bit more money. How much cash do I have? A dollar twenty-two. Not a lot, but maybe we're in like 1904 when a dollar twenty-two was a lot of money. Nowadays, dollar twenty-two, not quite as it's not gonna go as far as it did in Grandpa's day. That's just facts. That's those hot and spicy facts. Archangel Azraflail, the Knight of Death. He's gonna have a flail, isn't he? Imposter, thou shalt be vanquished, fiend. But I'm not, though. Can I hit him? I just want to hit him. That's all that I really want. Oh, the rope hurts me, too. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Let's maybe, like, stay away from him for a second. Maybe I have to hit the flail? Oh, you gotta cut the rope. Makes sense. Okay. He also does damage on touch, which is really sort of unfortunate. But now that I know the mechanic, we should be able to knock this out. Me thinkies. I don't know where the best angle to accomplish this from is. But, oh, it looks like the flail slows down. There we go. So we've stabbed him now. Hopefully we only need, like, one or two more stabs. He looks like his hands are made out of, like, golden chef's hats. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think we just gotta, like, time it, but I think I've got it now. We've got it covered. How many more strikes you figure he's gonna take? I tried to summon my battle chicken, but my battle chicken didn't get summoned. Perfect. He's now on fire and falling apart. I assume that that kind of shows that the trajectory of this fight is moving towards victory. Nice, dude. This heart permanently has increased your fortitude. Sweet, bro. Completed memory number zero was restored. Yeah, there's corruption right there. So I'm wondering if the house is kind of like poking at the fourth wall of like we're inside of a game and our hero is going to slowly like figure that out. Dad. Lance. Your mother sacrificed herself to get me out, but even she couldn't save me. Oh, my dear Stiletto. It's my fault. I shouldn't have sent you on such a risky mission. There's no way you could have known. I've never seen an Archangel so vicious. I think they were protecting something. Lance, today you become the hero of fortitude. It's too soon, Dad. I know. I know, but only a few people in the world can hold a power like this. And you're the last in our line. Your mother would be very proud of you. Here, the traditional garb. How come he's not wearing the traditional garb? Jesse, look after Lance. He is, after all, just a boy. I'll keep him safe as long as I'm breathing. Goodbye, lad. Look after the prince and the kingdom. They'll need you one day. Yes, save my progress. That sounds absolutely agreeable. Ring, ring. Lance, I wanted to keep you from danger for a few more years, but I failed. I speak to you now from beyond the veil. The undead forces of the chairman of the Bankers Guild have snatched the prince from his throne. With this thoughtless actions, the chairman has destroyed the fragile balance of powers that keep our world from descending into chaos and corruption. It's time to take your first steps towards your destiny and become the hero that you were born to be. Seek out the librarian. She has knowledge of the four hidden dungeons of this island. Defeat the evil within them and become stronger. When you've done that, I will send you my acolyte to fill you in on the next steps. Click. Okay, so apparently I can call the Elder, I guess. Chaos and Corruption. Is that what happened to my school? It would appear to be so. And now I can destroy bushes. So even better. What is that right there? It came from outer space. If you gather a bunch of these, maybe you can make something. Oh, cool. We found meteorites. Hell yeah, I went looking for a meteorite one time, but it was really hard to judge where it landed. So like I was sitting, my da my parents live in the country and they have a field, and I was sitting in their field, and a meteorite went overhead so low and so close that it was like a bright green fireball, like almost right in front of my face, and it went as it went by. I made a noise like that, and then I heard like a foomp noise. And so I went up over the hill, but I was wandering around in the middle of night like in a field trying to find this damn thing. And just, I didn't see any impact. My guess is that it landed much, much, much further away than I thought. But, you know, my little 19-year-old brain was just like, I'm going to go find this thing. I heard they're worth a lot of money, and I'm poor, and I would love to have more money. So I went and looked for it. That's right, I didn't do it for scientific exploration or belief in anything. I went purely to sell the damn thing. That's what Splatty did. That's what Splatty do. Splatty's out here to get that guap, chat. We're trying to get that guacamole. That guapamole, that guapamole, we're trying to get it. Oh, another meteor, nice, we found another one. I wonder how many I need. Can I push that? Do these only go down? Is that why they've got the little arrow on them? Guess not, but this looks like a dead end, so I guess we can't go this way. Where else do we want to go? Uh, we can check out the library. We're able to chop bushes, so we could come back over here. Oh, you can only fast travel to points of interest, gotcha. So yeah, the corruption looks like it's planned. So, I guess we're going to uncover kind of the secrets of why everything's corrupted a little bit later. Because there was definitely, like, with the memory fragments, there was some of that glitching going on with the text box, too. So. Can I get through the targets? Maybe I need, like, a bow in order to get rid of the targets? I think that's probably what it is. I probably need to find a bow or something like that. Oh, the library's open. Let's go look inside. Who are you? Um. A new face! I can hardly believe it. After all these years on this tiny island, someone I've got to never meet before. So, what can I do for you? Whoa, that sounds crazy. Give me your phone and I'll program the dungeons into it. There you go. Looks like your next dungeon is in the Yule Royal Lagoon to the north. Who knows, maybe you'll find one of your children there. No, I'm pretty sure my children are stuck in the school. 
I added my number as well. Feel free to call me anytime. All right, I will do that. Oh, and keep your eyes peeled for overdue library books while you're out. Find them all and you can get into my good books. All right, sure thing. Apparently, we're just going to use a lot of puns here today. Like loads and loads of puns. It's a tale of two friends who go on a journey to defeat evil. Ah, the classic tale. Private? Well, too bad. I'm getting in here. It's a letter to Paige from someone called Maxwell. He's complaining about a new lab assistant causing trouble. I'm curious what all these boxes do. I also broke her pottery. Let's get out of here before she discovers it. Hopefully her homeowner's insurance covers it. Let's just bounce on out to the south. I know the claim is probably going to raise her deductible. And it's probably going to increase her liability. But like, me, we gotta get out of here. Like, I'm not, a, I'm not a good person. We've already murdered a small child who was supposed to be the hero of the realm today. With our callous and unsavory actions. This time around, like, eh, breaking a pot inside somebody's house and then running off to leave them. You know, I have to go back out to Pier 1 Imports to pick up a new one for like $800,000. Eh, it's not lining up to be a good slock of evidence against us, alright? I broke your pots again, sorry. My desk is so disorganized. I can't find anything that I'm looking for. Help me out, would you? There are notes here on some kind of code or maybe legalese. All right. Can I get on the computer? One screen are rows of numbers and on the other is some kind of form. So apparently she's like an accountant or something. It's a framed business degree certificate. All right. I don't know if I can actually actively help her out, but it was a nice thought for a second. Oh, we found a library book. Adventurers. Hold on, so Chairman Mammon, peaceful citizens of the Nerd Castle, humans and bears alike, you work hard for your gold coins and deserve to know that they are safe. Now, you could put them in your family's prized clay pot, as is tradition, but do you know that your clay pot won't protect your money from adventurers? Don't fall for their good press, folks. Adventurers will come to your town seeking health potions, weapon shops, and side quests. They will come into your house and they will smash your pots, taking your precious savings with them. Just because it hasn't happened yet doesn't mean that it won't. Luckily, the Bankers Guild is here to serve the interests of the people. For an affordable monthly fee, the Bankers Guild will give your savings account premium adventures insurance. Your money would protect it in an enormous magical jar that has been proven by our R&D department to be impenetrable to swords, magic whips, and even power beams. The Guards Union has a notorious pro-adventurer bias and won't keep your earnings safe when the time comes. Be safe and bank with the Guild. It wasn't really a book. That was more like a pamphlet. A screed. Like I, I don't I don't really know if that if that counts as a book. Like it would need a few more pages, but definitely interesting and enlightening information about how shabby I am in my character. So that's cool. What's going on over here? We got like a little village. What's up, bud? Are the rumors true? Is there really a human girl breaking into bears' homes just to sleep on their beds? Nope. They come to break your pots. Thank you for the nickel. See you later. You pay your protection money out here. If you don't pay your protection money, I'll run up in your house and destroy your pottery. I'm Ayala. My husband is out in the front running his blacksmithing business. As for myself, I add much needed liquidity to the global financial market by trading equities. Okay. I'm Rupert, the blacksmith here in town. If you're needing to upgrade your arsenal, I'm your bear. It's all free. I just ask you to bring me the roar materials. So keep an eye out for meteors. Yeah, they'll be brown and gray and shoot out of the sky. Oh, nice. So if we get enough, we can get, like, new swords and stuff. Nice. Okay. Sounds good. They said that my next dungeon was to the north, so maybe we should go track that down. Are you gonna die? I would love it if you would, like, die, 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 my crabby. There we go. We've killed him off. Oh, the dungeon's all the way up there. Okay. I don't know how much exploration is encouraged in this game. I assume a bit. What is this? The Hollow Tomb of Envy. I stumbled into this cave by accident. It was scary at first, but I have so much cool loot now. Caves are dangerous, though. Cave monsters grow up drinking all the potions you find underground, and I know, maybe this will help you. Nice, we got a fizzy red potion. We gotta drink it to find out what it does. I mean, maybe it heals? At least it's carbonated. That's pretty sweet. I love carbonated beverages. I'll take it. Let's go ahead and wipe out some of this stuff over here, too. There we go. Knock this guy out, knock this guy out. Perfecto. Yep, just a little bit more. See, my problem is that, like, I'm kind of a collectaholic. Like, I need to collect every coin and every valuable inside this place. A free meteorite. Something bad's gonna happen. I feel like something... I wonder if you can jump down these holes. 
Oh, you can't in Zelda. You could fall down those holes back in the old Super Nintendo. Did. <laughs> fall down the hole. Lose like a half a heart. Ah, uh, the good old days. The good old days. Oh, another library book. Nice. In an emergency, call 555-0911. For operator assistance, call 555-0000. Oh, apparently we got a list of phone numbers inside of here. Okay. We can check that out. It's pretty tough. I took a beating. Where does this go to? So where are we on the map now? Oh, it just kind of moved me over to this part of the map. All right. Yeah, I would like for you guys to not be alive anymore, if we could just do that. I don't know why the bat won't die. Apparently, it's a friendly bat. Looks like they erected a statue to both the village elder, who had his blood used for finger painting, and then also to the hero of the realm, who I callously squashed his head with a, a rogue slime. Eh, we're not going to admit to that part, though. Definitely wasn't my fault, chat. Wasn't my fault. It was somebody's fault, but I'll never take responsibility for it because we're in the adventuring business now, baby. That means we never take responsibility for our actions. We always blame bad mechanics. Uh, we blame not having strong enough equipment. We blame the most recent patch notes, but we definitely never blame ourselves. We now have three library books, apparently. Oh, okay, this one's corrupted, too. Okay. All right. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm going to kill this slime. I'm sorry. I'm going to kill that snail out of rage for not being able to read. Just, ah, run at him and be like, my illiteracy makes me feel so inadequate. And just smite him into the ground. And then a library book fell on my head. Prince Daniel III, final notice. As mentioned in my previous letter, I write to you representing the Guards Union. The Union's members have been severely underpaid in your service. The Union has demanded payment of the last five months' salary due by the 10th. To date, our members have received no such payment. Several letters requesting payment have already been sent your way. This is your final notice. If our members do not receive payment by the 10th, our members will regrettably be forced to walk out of their posts at the palace and seek new opportunities. The chairman of the Bankers Guild has already provided many of our members with offers. Ah. So that's what happened. I forgot to see, he made the fundamental despot mistake. You always pay the military before everybody else. That's like rule number one of running your own despotic dictatorship is that you always pay the military. You know, you might be a horrible murderous asshole in every other way, but you always pay the military. I'm so, oh, I'm so thirsty I can't move. Can you bring me a bottle of fresh water? I can try. Can't guarantee that it's gonna work. Here, I'm just gonna murder some porpoises real fast. I don't have a thing of water. There's another meteorite over there too. I do like exploring and the, the scrolling screen. This is pretty fun. Now we have five library books. That's a really, really long book. I don't know if I wanna read that much right now, but they are giving some pretty good lore. So if you're gonna play the game, I would recommend reading some of the books. It's just that like we're doing an episode right now. I've got like 25 to 30 minutes to show this game off to you and help you decide if it's something that you want. Oh, we found a hundred cents. Nice, dude. We found a dollar. An entire dollar. One whole dollar. Got your dollar. The family living here claim they are being harassed by a woman who enters their home while they're out. She's reportedly five foot five with golden locks. Would you be able to help us set a trap? Yeah, sure, why not? Great. Wait right here while we leave. Don't let her see you. You may need to find somewhere to hide. When she falls asleep, give me the signal. What's the signal, though? I don't know what the signal is. Maybe if I come back, we'll hide back here. There we go, there we go. Chicken, shh! Don't give us away, chicken. Don't give us away. Don't give us away. I say, which direction do you figure she's gonna go? All right, she's moving to the next part of the map. Let's go. Nope, she's not gonna catch me. Ain't gon' catch me, locks. If I hide behind this box, can she see me? Okay, so I can hide behind the box. That's good. 
Her line of sight is limited. Very, very limited line of sight. And unfortunately, she appears to be chicken blind as well. I have the same problem whenever I go to KFC. I just, I go chicken blind. I can't help it. Aw, dude, we gotta start all the way over? Lame. That wasn't even my fault. I just entered in the wrong spot. Ugh, weak. You know, up until this quest, I never thought that I would hate Goldilocks. I never thought that I would hate Goldilocks. I thought it was a pretty innocent story about breaking and entering. I mean, it could happen to anybody. You know, you see a couple of talking bears, they have a house, they obviously have taken on some kind of financial responsibility, they have a mortgage you want to see for yourself, so you go check out their house and you sleep in their bed. Happens to the best of us. Huh. How am I supposed to get around that? Either way, let's steal all their stuff while we're here. I know the cops are right outside, but why not? If I go back this way, what happens? Does it continue? Oh, I can reset it if she's about to catch me. Okay, so like with her patrol pass, she goes up there. And like, I honestly don't really know how to make this work. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Like she doesn't reset back. Like she doesn't stay in the position that she's in. So I thought maybe we double back and around. But maybe I need like jumping powers to jump over that right there. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe I need to be able to jump. Like, I've seen some of the characters jumping over things, and I'm not sure how to get this done. There doesn't seem to be a good spot to transition to. Like, if she only has her back turned for, like, a second. Oh, never mind. We can go up to the side of the bed. Let's do that. Let's do that. Okay, we made it. We made it. We made it. We don't need to jump. Jumping is unnecessary. We're solid here. Okay. Lay down in the bed. Come on, get in the bed so that I can call the popo. Or we can just shiver outright. Like breaking and entering is a crime. Freeze. <laughs> Great job, Lena. Apparently, the guard left a report behind. Maybe I can turn those in for, like, some extra cash? Some extra Skrilla? You'll always be welcome here, Lena. Are you sure? Because I'm about to break your pots. You positive about that little baby bear sprite is super cute. I'm down with it. I feel it. All right, so let's figure out we need to go up and we need to go left, but this way is kind of blocked off. So like maybe if we go through here, the dungeon is clearly up above us and to the left, but this is where the little crying kid was up there who wanted the water, which we don't have right now. And we can't go up from right here, which means we need to like connect and detour through another way. Wasn't there water in the way up here too or something like that? I don't recall. Let me go look real fast. Yeah, that's the crying little kid. There was definitely like a wall in the way. So I guess we just got to go around to the left possibly. Let's go check that out. So far, I'm pretty happy with it. The only thing that I really have to complain about is hands-on keyboard. But I think that's more of a personal thing than it is kind of a critique about the game. So I'll set that aside. Other than that, the presentation of the game is pretty good. The exposition is a little tiny bit fast at the beginning. And honestly, I thought that it was a glitch at the beginning of the game when the house was doing the thing, but actually it looks like memories are being corrupted or something. And so anyways, we made it to our first dungeon right here at the end of our first dive on into Lena's Inception. My name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile every single day in the world of indie gaming so that you don't have to. Today up on the block was Lena's Inception. As always, I've got a link for you down below if this game really, really tugs your jimmies and seems like the thing that you would want to purchase for yourself. Ooh, free meteorite. There we go. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. And always remember that if it seems like there's too much stuff coming out on Steam right now, you always have my channel. I will always be here sifting through all of that stuff trying to find the goodies that are hidden beneath all the other, you know, hentai puzzle games and whatnot so that you don't have to. How you doing, take care, everybody? It's been a pleasure. I'll have something hot and fresh for you tomorrow straight up off the skillet, okay?